Hello and welcome back to the channel where I try to teach you everything that the CDL school does not teach you. Today I want to talk to you about arriving at the shipper and receiver. It's something that we never talk about that much. But first off, before we even start this video, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you get any value from it, hit the like button. Again, I'm going to try to teach you things that you don't learn in the CDL school. Alright, let's get into today's video. The shipper or receiver. When you arrive there, it's very important that you pay attention to all the signs around the place. Someone's going to tell you instructions from the beginning, and you may not have ever been there before, so you really don't know. So if you pay attention to the signs, for example, the sign may say, pull up, go to the shipping office at dock 39. Uh, for example, me and my wife just come to a place just now, and it said, go to the black box, press the button, and they'll tell you which dock to go to. I've been to shipping receivers where it says text the number, your your pickup number to, and they'll tell you which dock. So by reading the signs, you can kind of know ahead of time exactly what to do. And it's very important that you follow these instructions. Some may say pull to the third line to the right, park, get out of the truck, and walk in. You don't want to piss off the receiver, or the shipper or receiver, pardon my language, but some of them will get really mad just by you not following instructions. And it's easy for us simply not to follow them, just used to just driving. But we've never been there, so follow the instructions that's the first key once you get into a shipper receiver make sure that you're always going the speed limit some of these speed limits are gonna be posted at 10 to 15 miles per hour it may seem a little ridiculous but you have a lot of people that are riding around walking around and you don't want to hurt anybody so please pay attention again to these speed limit signs you don't want to hurt nobody and you don't want nobody calling into your company tell them that you're speeding through there because they can't ban you from these places so make sure you don't do that all right, once you get in, if you have a safety vest, a safety vest, make sure you put that on. Some places require it, and some don't, but I advise you to put one on. Again, there's a lot of stuff going on. Also, when you get to the shipper receiver, you're going to run into people that are just plain out jerks. You're going to run into people that are nice, and you're going to run into people that have attitudes. But my best advice to give you is don't let other people ruin your day. You're going to have people that are like, hey, just go to the dock, dock 39, or park over there truck driver you know whatever you know they kind of talk down to you but you don't want to always give them a smile one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to talk back to them and be like hey where's my duck at you don't want to get really angry with them sometimes you know you might feel like you're forgotten about and there's nothing wrong with going in there and saying hey you know, where's my dog hello let me in but if you get a bad attitude with them and i know this is sad to say but it's the truth and y'all truck drivers know i'm telling you if you get them a bad attitude a lot of times they can just put you off later or later on in the day. You say, that's not true. Well, it, it can be. So make sure you always have a good attitude. It's always best to be positive anyway because that's kind of negativity breeds negativity. So when I hear negativity, I just give positive back. And I, and I try to do my best to, to stay positive. Now, sometimes you get to these shipper receivers. Also know that you could be there a while. You could be there just as quick as 20 minutes. You could be there as long as 7, 8 hours. I've been there 10, 12 hours before. Use this time wisely. To clean out your truck, get a little nap, uh, read the Bible, read some music, listen to some music, do something that is considered maybe your off time that you enjoy doing. Meal prep for some of your food, get some things done. So don't look at it as, oh man, I got to be here five or six hours. Okay, good. I got five or six hours. I can get some things done. I can get my bed made. I can get my clothes folded. You need this time because most of the time we're driving. If you're out here trying to make these wheels turning and burning, you're going to be driving most of the day. I drive from dark to dark. So when I do get stuck at a shipper, yes, it does bother you, but you got to think, again, it's all about your mindset. Be positive and say, you know what, I, I, this is a good chance for me to get some things done because these things you need to get done instead of putting it off, right? And by the way, if you watch this video and you're looking for a good company to work for, you should come over here to Rosedale Transport. That's where I work at. They hire you right out of school. Uh, the number is 706-226-226. 1003. You can ask for Marcella or Tina. And make sure you tell me, boy, Sean sent you. But also, remember this, they also reimburse your tuition, too. So if you owe money back to school, they'll take care of it. And if you're an uh, experienced driver, you get a big old fat sign-on bonus. They get you home every week. It's kind of 80% drop and hook. Uh, and you work for with people that actually... Um, care about you. And that's why I like for Rosedale Transport. Again, the number's at the bottom of the screen, 706-226-1003. All right, now going back to the shipping receiver. Again, attitude's very important. Make sure you're following your signs. Make sure you go slowly. Another thing is backing up. A lot of accidents can happen at the shipping receiver because we just get, we got it back to a dock and we get in a big hurry because we think they're trying to get us to the dock. Take your time. 
Don't hit anything. It doesn't matter what all these people around you. Don't get get it out of your mind. These people are all looking at you like, oh no, that Joe, that guy over there is looking at me. He's watching me. Who cares about them? Again, back to the mindset. Once you're gone, you're never gonna remember those people again. Take your time. Don't hit anything. And if you need to ask somebody, ask somebody to help you back up. It doesn't hurt to do that. Sometimes they're gonna ask you to slide the tandems. Again, that's back to following signs. If they ask you to slide the tandems back, make sure you do that. You don't want to have them all the way up front. And you back to the dock. They come in there. Hey, can you slide your tandems? They're not going to start loading you, so make sure you, you do that. Uh, two types of, uh, when you get to a ship receiver, two types of uh, loading. You'll have a green light, red light. Some do that. Some come out there and knock on your door, so make sure you're asking them at the front, how do I get unloaded? How do I know when I'm unloaded? Uh, some will say, well, when it turns red or when it turns green. When it turns green, you can go. So always look, like right now I have a red light um, at my door. I waited until it was green, then turn red, and then when it turns green again, I can go. Some would just say they'll wake you up, then that's when you just go up there and go to sleep. So again, these are just a few tips to help you out the shipping receiver. I hope that helped you out. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get trucking.